Welcome back watch lovers. You know we here at Vintage Watch Collector love digital watches just as much as analog mechanical watches. Just as long as they come from a brand with a bit of history and has a story to tell. Even though Casio is a brand that specializes in electronic equipment, I also consider it to be a bona fide watchmaker. Their watches won't cause a stir at Basel World, but with a watchmaking history dating back nearly 50 years, they must be doing something right. Casio is a leading figure in the Japanese watch industry, just behind Seiko and Citizen. They sell a varied range of watches, including the Oceanus and Edifice range. But it is their best known range of watches that we will look at today, and that is the G-Shock. In this video, I present to you 10 reasons why you should own a Casio G-Shock. So without further ado, let's begin the countdown. At 10, we have the fact that they are extremely tough. Yes, G-Shock watches are known for being tough, but this is only a small factor in why you should get one. The G in G-Shock stands for gravity, and all watches in the line are capable of working when dropped from a height of 10 meters. They were conceived 35 years ago by Casio engineer Kikuwa Ibe and his team in 1983, and have since gone on to sell over 100 million watches. His original vision was to create a tough watch after he dropped and smashed a watch his father gave him on his way to work. After 200 prototypes, the very first G-Shock, the DW5000C, was born. Kikua Ibe drew inspiration from a child's football when coming up with a method for protecting the fragile digital circuitry of the G-Shock watches. He realized that the center of a football remains unaffected when kicked hard from the outside and applied this to the engineering of G-Shock watches. Hence you will find a lot of free space between the electronic movement of a G-Shock watch and the exterior casing. This is to allow for greater shock absorption, hence the watch's name. A simple and clever solution to the problem he was posed with. At 9 we have the fact that it has a long battery life. Kiku eBay wanted his original G-Shock to have a long battery life of up to 10 years. Watches in the early 80s had a slim form factor and used small batteries that only lasted for around 6 months. The G-Shock changed that by being fitted with bigger, more powerful batteries which the larger case allowed for. The real world duration of how long the battery would last in reality would depend upon how much you use the watch's features. If you were to lightly use the battery draining features such as the backlight and the alarm, then a battery life of over 10 years was realistically possible. Users of the model shown here, the DW5600, have often reported that their watch would go on for 11 years before needing a battery change. This model also boasts a countdown timer, a stopwatch accurate down to 100th of a second and a calendar programmed up until 2039. At 8 we have the fact that all G-Shock watches are water resistant. All the watches in the G-Shock range have been tested to a depth equivalent of 100 meters. Note that the watches are not allowed to be labeled as waterproof because they will eventually let in water if taken down to a depth deep enough. But even entry level G-Shock watches will be fine for activities such as snorkeling and water sports. For those of you who want a more serious diving watch should consider the G-Shock Frogman line. The Frogman is a specialized line in the G-Shock range that has been specially made for divers and are ISO compliant. This means that they meet the International Standard Organization's strict rules for diving watch functionality. The model shown here adds further functionality by including useful features such as a compass, thermometer and a depth gauge meter, all of which can be used while diving. It can also display tide and moon phase information. At 7, G-Shock watches are used by members of the Navy SEALs. G-Shock watches are used by members of the US military. They were even standard issue to the Navy SEALs during the 1990s. The Navy SEALs, in case you didn't know, are a special operations unit of the US Army and are specially trained for unique tactical operations. This means that the watches they wear must stand up to extreme environments, whether it be cold or heat or sand or water. Rolex Submariners were the standard issue watch to the diving division of the Navy SEALs right up until the early 90s 
and they performed admirably. The problem was, the cost of them became prohibitively high when they were to be repaired or replaced. The procurement manager for the Navy SEALs decided in a move to make the most out of their operational budget, decided to substitute G-Shocks for the Submariners. The model that became standard was the DW6600. This was first introduced in 1994 and was the first G-Shock to have electroluminescence as a feature. When you press the big button on the watch's face, the whole dial would light up a shiny blue and would stay on for 5 seconds without holding it down. This feature and the watch's big face meant that it was easy to read underwater and it left your hands free to do the swimming. While this watch did not have many of the advanced features featured on newer G-Shock models, the features that it did have were very well implemented. Other features included an alarm and stopwatch functions. One button press would also hot swap the time display between civilian 12 hour format and the military 24 hour format. The DW6600 was one of the longest produced G-Shock models and went on to have a production run of 14 years. Although you can't buy the DW6600 anymore, its direct replacement, the DW6900, is still available. This feature is a redesigned dial but keeps the original features of the 6600 as well as an automatic calendar programmed until the year 2099. At 6 are collaboration and special edition models. It's hard to believe but the G-Shock was not an immediate success in its own country of Japan when it was first introduced. The fashion for watches in the early 80s was to have them as thin as possible. When the DW5000 came out, its chunky looks flew in the face of fashion. It was mainly purchased by police officers and firefighters as a tough wearing tool. Come the early 90s however and the G-Shock watches grew in popularity across the Pacific in America. This was partly thanks to a clever advertising campaign showing the watch being hit like an ice hockey puck and surviving. Just as significant though was that the watch gained popularity amongst skateboarders and rappers in the States in the early 90s. News of this popularity soon spread to the youth back in Japan for whom American culture was considered as being cool. Since then, Casio have brought out a variety of limited edition models in collaboration with streetwear designers such as The Hundreds and Stussy. One of my favourite collaboration G-Shop watches is one that came out in late 2018 and that was in collaboration with Bape or a Bathing Ape. This watch is based upon the Casio GA110 but has been given a Bape redesign by being covered in their famous first camera design and having gold accents on the dial. It also features the Bape branding alongside the G-Shock branding. This watch is also magnetic resistant as well as featuring the usual G-Shock traits. If there are any G-Shock owners out there, do you own a special collaboration model or do you have one in mind that you'd like to own? At 5, G-Shock watches are approved by NASA. NASA has a fairly specific and tough set of rules that the watch must pass before they approve it for space travel. It is testament to the quality and durability of G-Shock watches that NASA has approved some models in the G-Shock range as suitable for use in their missions. NASA's own stringent tests for watches to be approved include subjecting them to swings between high and low temperatures, humidity level changes and vibration tests. In order to pass, the watches had not only to come out the other side still in working order but also to maintain their accuracy. The G-Shock models DW5600, DW5900, DW6900 and G9000 are all on the NASA approved list. Looking at photos of astronauts from NASA's own website, we can see that the G-Shock has almost become a part of the standard kit. One of the watches on the list, the G9000, is also known as the Mudman because of its resistance to dirt and grime. Its features include being able to tell the time in 29 different time zones and various chronograph and timer functions, which are considered to be especially useful on space missions. At 4, G-Shock watches are worn by celebrities. Ok, I know this is one of the more tenuous reasons on this list as to why you should have a G-Shock in your collection. I'm not saying that just because your favourite celebrity was seen wearing a G-Shock that you should get one for yourself too. 
But what I am saying though is that most celebrities, let's face it, can wear pretty much any watch they feel like, as they wouldn't have the economic restraints that most people would have. So in other words, they choose to wear G-Shock because they like the watches, and that's primarily the reason as to why you should get one or several as well. I mean look, here's Usher and young Justin Bieber rocking a couple of G-Shock numbers. Wait a minute, I could swear that in one of my previous videos, Justin Bieber was flexing with a Swatch watch. Never mind, that's all I'm going to say about the celebrity thing. Let's move on to the next reason. At 3, it's the price. G-Shock watches can be said to be classless. That's because they start from well under $100 and some models can be purchased for under $50 during sale time, so pretty much anyone can buy into the range. Perhaps you're thinking of getting an everyday beta watch that you can keep on your wrist without having to worry about it. In that case, Casio have you covered. Looking on Amazon, I found a DW5600 with a stylish negative display for under $70. You can even pick up a regular DW5600 for under $50. I'll leave the links in the descriptions below. This is amazing value considering the engineering that went into the production of G-Shock and is favoured by astronauts. At the other end of the scale, they also make high-end models costing thousands of dollars. For instance, for their MRG range, the cases are decorated by artisans using a metalwork technique that's also used for making samurai swords. I was in their premier store in London recently and saw these in real life, and they look just as impressive as in photos. So basically, there are watches in the G-Shock range that covers everyone from beginner to advanced collector, and at every price point. Number two, they make a professional series of watches known as the Master of G. This is a specialty range of watches within the G-Shock lineup that are specially designed for certain occupations and activities. These activities are categorized as being either on land, sea or air. Casio's team of engineers and designers will meet with those in the profession to ascertain how they will use the watch and what functions they want from it. For example, G-Shock's line of watches designed for pilots are known as the Gravity Master and the team would have carried out interviews with several pilots before building the functions. The model shown here is the GA1002B Gravity Master and it comes with a host of features to help you when you're airborne including a digital compass with bearing memory, thermometer and a sapphire crystal. At number one is technology and evolution. Even though the G-Shock has been around for 35 years, Casio hasn't rested on their laurels. Over the years, the G-Shock lineup has been increasing and evolving. The increase in the lineup includes the addition of smaller models such as Baby G and professional series such as Master of G, as we have seen. They have used materials in an innovative way such as the use of carbon fibre in their straps to make them stronger yet remain light, or surrounding the electronic movement module in a gel-like material to aid even better shock absorption and protection. As far as electronic features are concerned, well, they've innovated on this front as well, with the addition of miniaturized sensors for measuring temperature, altitude above the ground, or depth below the sea. The addition of Bluetooth and GPS to some models means that the watch's features can be controlled from a smartphone and automatically updates for the local time when traveling. These are clever and innovative features that have turned the G-Shock into a smarter watch without it being a smartwatch. You guys know how I feel about smartwatches, right? The G-Shock's primary function remains as a watch and never needs daily charging. The innovative use of solar power means that the watch can power itself for years, even under the dimmest of conditions. So with all the technology and hundreds of models available and prices to suit every budget, you're sure to find a G-Shock that's perfect for you. This has been Roger from Vintage Watch Collector. Till next time, peace out.